Hello and welcome to Metal Shaper Tom. This is episode two of the Austin 7 build. So it's been a few months since I last cut of the video. I've had to finish a job and now that's gone, I can now devote my spare time in the evenings and weekends when I can, working on my Austin 7 project. So, in the last project, uh, in the last episode, I said I was after a Reliant engine. As you can see, I've got an 850 engine. I was very happy with this purchase. It cost me 500 quid. It's done 11,000 miles, it's documented. Uh, 11,000 miles and out of a car that's uh, from 1993. So fairly modern in terms of uh, an 850. So very happy with my purchase. It runs, I've had it tested at work. Um, I'll do a video on that just to show that that's a bit further down the line. Um, I've got a new damper there. So very happy with that one. A little Austin 7 special book as well I purchased. Uh, flat spring for the front so I can mock up the ride height, handbrake mechanism because the car didn't come with one. Uh, found that on eBay and then also a pedal box out of a Rely Robin. I've seen somebody use this, uh, really like the way they've done it and it's uh, definitely an option to pursue uh, a bit further down the road because space in that area is quite tight. So. Yeah, it's going to be a bit tricky. So the next thing I'm after is a bow front axle. Now, if you've got one out there that you want to sell, please get in contact with me. I know there's a chap in Scotland that does that. So if I can't find one, then I will get it sent off to him. But I'm happy to do a trade. Uh, if somebody wants to learn how to weld or do a bit of shaping, I'm happy to share my skills as a coach builder, fabricator, car restorer. Um, and offer my skills in trade, you know. Um, mechanical and stuff like that is where I, I struggle and I will be relying on the viewers for, for help and knowledge and if anyone's got suggestions, I'm willing to listen and learn from people more experienced than me. Uh, and again, I'm happy to share my skills. If somebody wants to come down and spend a few hours, you know, I'll show them a few hours uh, of metal work in return, you know. so. I'm happy to trade my skills for somebody else's skills. So there's an option there, you know, again, but if somebody wants to come and do a, a metal shaping lesson or welding lesson, I do them as well. So there's another option for people to come down and uh, learn a bit as well. So the aim for this video is to get the front spring changed, get the car to the right height, get the engine mocked up with some temporary engine mounts. And I, I say temporary because I, I want to finalise the design on them, but first of all, I just want to mock it roughly in place to basically sort of see where it's finally going to sit and that before I actually commit to them. And that is basically this episode. You know, I reckon maybe the next episode, once I've got everything at the right height, you know, I'll replicate the fuel tank and everything at the back and the weight, you know, to get it to the right height. I will then probably start, well, I'll probably order the material for the wire buck that I'm going to be making and mock up uh, a nice frame that I'll be uh, making the body over. So again, I'll show you all these processes. I'll show you how, how I go about making the body, how I go uh, about the wheeling and the welding and just, just the basic construction of a body. So hopefully you learn something from these videos. There, there will be like a vlog, but a tutorial at the same time. That's how I want to approach this build. And again, when this build is complete, I want to go to Prescott Hill Climb. I know it won't be BSCC um, eligible, but I just want to take the car to Prescott. That's my goal. Um, I've got a really nice idea for the body. It's going to be very French, long tail at the back. You know, as long as it all works out proportion wise, um, oh, that's the way I'll be going. So that will all become clear over the next few episodes on what it's going to look like. But it's going to be very sort of Amilcar and French is all I can say. It won't be nothing like an Ulster. Uh, that might upset some people, others may be willing uh, and open-minded to a bit of change, but that's the way I'm going to be going with this project. So can't please everyone, but hopefully throughout the metal work inside of it, you will learn something. And throughout the mechanical side, I'll be learning a lot. So I'm well out of my depth with that side. So I'll be relying on the viewers for their knowledge and, uh, help and guidance along the way. So that's enough about that. I'm gonna crack on now, get a front spring change and start them brackets.
Okay, so that's the front spring in place and already that has made a huge difference to the overall height. Um, yeah, I'm quite shocked how low it was. It's definitely the look that I was going for or wanted. So uh, the right decision made there. Very happy with that. Um, yeah, please don't think I'm gonna be just bolting this up and using it as it is. All this will be stripped down, uh, cleaned and replaced where needed. I will try and keep as much as the original as I can um, and use them parts but yeah it, it does need a really good clean and overhaul and I will do all of that um, I'm getting it basically back to how it should be yeah so don't think I'm just going to leave it like that that is in the plans to do that so next thing to do uh, yeah get the engine on I am going to have to get an engine crane because lifting that up by hand uh, yeah, I'm not the strongest of people <laughs> and uh, yeah it's uh, starting to hurt now so I'm gonna get a little engine crane and just so I can get this into place and start mocking my brackets up now. So I've got the engine in there really happy with how that's looking so far um, I've just got the jack underneath because what I'm trying to do is line the engine up but what is happening is because the steering box there is just fouling uh, on the starter. I'm going to have to move that back slightly. I think that's the right way to go about it. Uh, just move that back and then I get to extend the rod there um, and get all that work in. That way it just creates a bit of space around here uh, and then I can get the engine in line because it's just 10 mil uh, to one side. Uh, 20 mil difference, so I've just got to bring it over 10 mil to get it in line um, and then Just get the engine level. That's all I've got the little uh, levels there So that's the plan and then once I've got it level I then make some brackets Down here just coming off just to hold it under the chassis temporarily Okay then, so, the first problem, one of many. Um, as you can see with the clip I've just put in, uh, that's my mate Rory, um, who's next door to me. Uh, got his laser out, and we've sighted up the engine so we can get the prop, uh, prop shaft in line. And uh, I've read about this problem, and now I first hand see what they mean, but the engine on the Reliant is offset by 15 mil, and I didn't know to what side. So it's clear to see now uh, where that 15 mil is, and I need to bring the whole engine over this way ever so slightly. And the only way I can achieve that is basically by taking a little piece out of the sump uh, and scalloping that, and uh, that will give me the uh, extra room then shift everything over and get the prop shaft in line. Uh, this has been done before, I've read about it, I've seen it. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not just gonna scallop it straight away, um, I'm gonna drop the oil and then get the engine into place and then I'll do that at a later date. Um, also check out Rory's uh, channel, I'll leave a link in the description. He's building a, a Nova, um, all fully race spec and everything, that's RDC projects. So uh, please go check him out and give him a follow and uh, he'll probably be featuring in plenty more videos in the future.
um, we stayed in touch. Uh, he's invited me over to go have a look at the workshop and the cars. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully you see a lot more of him. He's also got a channel and I'll, I'll share the link to that. So anyone that wants to send a sticker and uh, get featured on the wall, that's going to be up in the background all the way through the project. I've got some stickers made and happy to send them out if anyone would like one. Okay, so on to the steering column. As you can see, it's right up close to the star motor and I've got to drop that angle quite considerably there. So uh, this is going to cause us a few issues which you're going to have to resolve. Uh, maybe fabricate a little bracket, come away from the chassis a little bit. I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about that just yet, but let's just set that angle uh, to where I'd like it. So this is where I think I'd roughly like the steering wheel. Um, don't know the angle just yet. Once I get a measurement, I'll share that with you. Uh, how I've achieved this is just by moving it back about an inch to the first hole. There's two holes there. I'm going to use the first one. If I go this way, I'll drill another hole for the, uh, the second hole. So I've just put the rubbers on and I'm going to come off the bottom there and probably utilise this floor bracket. Um, I'll see how it goes. As I said, it's only a temporary fixture, first of all. Um, if not, if it doesn't work, then what I'll do is undo the rivets here, use these holes and then come off from underneath and then mount it that way. But like we said, it's only temporary to start with. Okay, so that is the gearbox mounts uh, temporarily put in. And I, I keep saying temporarily because I will change these, but and, until I know what problems are ahead and I, I cross them, um, there's no point making and putting all the effort into making something uh, that I may have to change a bit further along the lines. I'd rather get further into the build, know it all clears the braking system and the pedal system and, and everything like that. And then once I'm 100% certain, then I can then commit to a final design. So uh, it's all in line, it's all in place, very happy with it. It's all level, it's where I want it. So now what I'm gonna do is make a more uh, substantial uh, mount for the steering, just to hold that into place, um, rather than my bit of wood. So I'm just gonna mock up a little frame so that holds the steering column in place and uh, then I suppose it's on to the body design.
Good morning, so you join me on Sunday the 6th of August. I am off to Prescott nice and early for the VSCC hill climb that's going on there. <laughs> okay so that's it for this episode very simple basic episode uh can't really get excited about making engine mounts or a temporary bracket there for the steering but hopefully it gives you uh, a bit of an insight and it's part of the story in the journey of the car um, in the next episode there's going to be a lot of cardboard and mask and tape um, and I will reveal the body style that I'm going to be uh, making. I'm really excited about it. I've already started doing it um, and filming that bit um, and it's to me it's looking awesome so I can't wait to share that with you and the processes uh, in all of that. Don't forget to check out Rory and Simon's page. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, go check out my Instagram at Metal Shaper Tom if you want to see what I do on a daily basis or the level I work to gives you an idea of what this build is going to be like and that's pretty much it uh so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one ciao